Good morning, students. We have already started block eighteen, measuring length. Today we are going to start its sub part. That is SI unit of length. So our aim is to identify meter as the SI unit of measuring length and its multiples and sub multiples. See, this is metric table. That is ten meter millimeters is equal to one centimeter. Ten centimeters is equal to one decimeter. One decimeter is equal to hundred millimeters. Hundred centimeters is equal to one meter. One meter is equal to thousand millimeters, and thousand meters is equal to one kilometer. This table will help you in conversion. So today we are going to learn about the metric system of measurement. The metric system is a decimal based measuring system based on the meter, liter and the gram as units of length, liquid volume and mass respectively. The distance between any two point is called length. The international system of units for measuring length is the meter. The standard spelling is M E T R E. but many countries also spell it m e t e r both spellings are acceptable 1 meter can be further split into 100 cm or 1000 mm for shorter lengths it is more appropriate to use centimeter and millimeter for very short distances it is more appropriate to use centimeter and millimeter for very long distances it is more appropriate to talk in hundreds and thousands of meters now here are some points to remember the very first point the units centimeter and millimeter are sub multiples of a meter second point the unit kilometer is multiple of meter third point to measure shorter lengths we divide the basic unit that is meter into parts of 10 100 or a 1000 fourth point to measure longer distances we multiply the basic unit by 10 100 or a 1000 so these points are very important to remember you can note down in your copy also so that you can refer these points to solve the conversions further the correct way to express a measurement is by using a single unit see here i have shown you one example the correct way to write a height is i am 170 cm tall and uh, it is incorrect to write i am 1 m and 70 cm tall so you can remember this thing also how to say the cor correctly how to say correctly your height when making metric conversions we can arrange the prefixes from largest to smallest kilometer hectometer decameter meter decimeter centimeter and millimeter now see how to convert millimeter to centimeter centimeter to meter and meter to kilometer from millimeter to centimeter to convert millimeter to centimeter we can divide millimeter by 10 and to convert centimeter to meter we can divide centimeter by 100 to get the answer in meter and to convert meter to kilometer we can divide meter by 1000 to get the answer in kilometer now to convert millimeter into centimeter centimeter to meter and meter to kilometer millimeter to centimeter for converting millimeter to centimeter we can divide millimeter by 10 to get the answer in centimeter to convert centimeter to meter we can divide centimeter by 100 to get the answer in meter and meter to kilometer we can divide meter by 1000 to get the answer in kilometer 
one example I have shared with you to convert 400 millimeter to centimeter. We should we can divide 400 millimeter by 10 to get the answer in centimeter. So 400 divided by 10 is equal to 40 centimeter. So here from this conversion it is very clear now how to convert millimeter to centimeter. Now converting kilometer to meter, meter to centimeter, centimeter to millimeter. Kilometer to meter multiply by thousand. Meter to centimeter multiply by hundred. That means when we have to convert meter into centimeter, we, we will multiply 100 in meters to get the answer in centimeter. And from centimeter to millimeter, we will multiply centimeter by 10 to get the answer in millimeter. Here, one example I have shared with you to convert 1 kilometer into meter. So, 1 into 1000 is equal to 1000 meter. So, 1 kilometer is converted to 1000 meter. To convert it to meter. Now, convert 5 meter into centimeter. 5 into 100 is equal to 500 centimeter. Now, what was the reason behind accepting an international standard unit of length? Different countries were using different units of measurement. This created confusion among people who worked internationally. So, to overcome the difficulty of using different units, an international standard unit, the meter, was adopted by all. So, through this lecture, I think it is now clear to you how to convert kilometer to meter, meter to kilometer. And thanks for watching this video. You can do practice at home also of converting various units and you can refer this lecture. Thank you for watching the video.